but just want to look which one is which because I can't remember which pin. Paul now is preparing his shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this this is already running here. Ah, okay. And I need uh, power for this. It's not USB powered? No, no. It's not, I think. I have to power the power supply. Ah, okay. Here. Ah, oh, look at this baby. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's a bit flickering. This is running. Yeah, it's flicking, running, shalala. So there's a MIDI out. That's here. Now let's plug it into the Arduino. So this board is an Arduino with some kind of... Uh, uh, software, firmware, which I have written to convert. But this is, you bought it, like uh, you yes, can yes. buy it. Ah, no, so. This is just usual uh, MIDI in, so optical 6N137. Oh, whatever. So yeah. it's an optical uh, isolator. For MIDI, MIDI in. MIDI board, okay. And then we have, uh, then what is this one? It's connected to serial, and this is my driving circuit for the signals. Ah, because of this 3.3 uh, volt and 5 volt issue. Yeah, it also works on 3.3. Mm -hmm. uh, so this, so one part here, it's a one negator, mm -hmm. and here's another. Mm -hmm. So I run this uh, inverted. If I want to put plus 5 volt, I give here mm, 0 volt. Mm -hmm. Then it's going to be 5 volt. Then it's going to be 5 volt because of the pull-up uh, Resistor, resistors. Yeah. Here we have this Roland TB3. Yes. And this will be your uh, main sequencer. Yes. Then uh, this will send the MIDI signal to this board. Yes. And this which is running Arduino. And what the Arduino is doing? So it responds to three uh, MIDI messages, like MIDI start, MIDI stop, mm -hmm. and the clock signal. Okay, and then this is filtering down the clock signal, then it will generate this square wave. Yes. And uh, also enable the pin on a gate of yes, the Roland yes. uh, so if, uh, 606. If a MIDI start message, mm -hmm arrive here, then I pull up this to 5 volt, the right? Mm -hmm. If a stop message arrives, I, I will pull it to 0 volts. Okay. And if a clock message arrives, then I create some short impulse. Okay, so now... No, no, do, don't connect it, because I, I need to check which... <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's the oscilloscope. So he said, don't connect it. So, so. this is, here you can see, uh -huh. uh, if I press start, now it's running and it's plus 5 volt. Plus 5 volt, yeah. If I press stop. So then you press stop. Yeah, it's not running and then here 0 volts. Nice. So yeah. Uh-huh. Nice. So this, pin is, quick. this pin is for... Uh, for start. the 5 volt start. Do you remember which pin <laughs> was here for the... So what's happening now? Now we uh, change this to output to check which pin is uh, for the clock and which pin is for the start. Damn it. So it's opposite. Now if the TB3 is starting and then you have... Yeah, you can see. This there is, is the difference. So this one is not the same signal like... Uh, no, no. I just generate some short impulses with 2MS. Uh -huh. Now we can connect this Press stop to this pin. Uh -huh. Switch here to input, yeah. And yeah. now it should respond. So yeah, nice. Running. Very nice. To press stop, it's stopped. Okay. So it's working. Again, TB3 running on MIDI, sending MIDI time signal. Arduino is sending analog. Uh, Time signal to the 606. Now you can also look for the tempo here. Mm -hmm. You can see this here. Uh -huh. Yeah, and when he is changing the tempo, of course the analog synchronization signal is also changing. 
and now <laughs> 300 bpm we have uh, 300 bpm which is about 120 hertz of uh, of yeah, clock very, very fast and now it's running like really crazy maybe you guys hear it also <laughs> i hope <laughs> mm -hmm. nice i like it so and uh, bring it down to 120 Oh, but at the moment we didn't hook up nothing to here, so we didn't hear what yeah. this is doing. So what you developed in this? A MIDI to DINSYNC converter. So MIDI to DINSYNC converter? MIDI, MIDI clock to DINSYNC converter. Aha. Uh -huh. And this is running on Arduino? Yes. Nice. Do you want to make some acid music? Yes, I like acid music. <laughs> because uh, <laughs> we need some no, acid. guys, we can do like... Uh, uh, this will also generate some sound, yeah, it's also contain synth. Yeah, it's uh, actually is the TV303 uh, emulation. emulation from Roland, so yeah. it's not a bit of crap. So this is a 303, then we have a 606, and uh, you know guys, I have also a 909 MC. Guys, now we will do some kind of acid party day or acid, yeah. <laughs> acid Sunday is coming. Stay tuned, catch you next time in the next video. <laughs> 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 <laughs>